Okay, so we're going to go through this image here, and what this image is is an MRI of a disc herniation that was caused from a lumbosacral syndrome. So in this first image, we can just see the, the plain MRI. And what I'm going to highlight here is what the normal shape of a disc should be, and it's essentially a rectangular shape when viewed from the side. Now the next slide you can see the L5S1 or lumbosacral segment and that is certainly not a rectangle that is closer to a triangle and what that is is that joint is stuck in a hyperextended position it has lost its ability to forward bend there is adhesion and restriction in the posterior or back half of it and that's what makes it narrower there and it looks like a triangle now, when someone with that sort of shaped joint at the base of their spine bends forward, it's going to cause an awful lot of excessive forward bending force to happen to the joint above it. And in this case, as we can see in this last animation, a herniation or that circular projection out of the rectangular disc above it is what develops and that is what's called a herniated disc there we can see it sort of compressing the fecal sac it's called and that would be pretty nasty and probably require a surgery this is the worst case scenario but this is what can potentially happen when someone's got a lumbosacral hypomobility or loss of movement